You may think this is uglier than sin, but I'm in love with this. My son, this is one of his first art projects that he ever made for me. Back when I lived in Loma Linda, um, he was working on this little thing, and he's, my, Andrea, my wife, she says he was working on it all day, and he was so proud to give it to me um, whenever I got home that day, because he made it for me to put in my office, because I was really busy and wasn't home much, and he said, Daddy, I want you to have something that I made so that you can put it in your office so that you can remember me. He was a little boy, but he made this. Sure, for many people it's probably awful and hideous, but for me it's beautiful because of what, what's behind it. Point is, Noah, my son, he created this. Because he created this, in this example, my son Noah, who's six, is the creator, and this piece of hideousness is his creation. But because Noah's the creator, and this is the creation, you would notice Noah isn't stuck inside of this because the creator is never stuck inside of their creation. Monet, Mike, <laughs> Michelangelo, uh, you know, great artists, um, Da Vinci, whatever. You know, anyway, architects, painters, whatever. Artists are never stuck inside of their art. I don't know about you, but if, if I make something and I put in a lot of hard work and effort into it, and I put it out there for everybody to see, I want people to enjoy it. And I think that God did the same thing with creation. He created this amazing world for us to live in, uh, this amazing world for us to experience, and he gave this to us, this, this beautiful place for us to be a part of. God created that, and if he created it just like that art, to in order for us to logically explain how this works with God being omniscient, with God being apart from this time continuum that we live in, we have to think about it in, in this frame of mind. That if I'm the creator, I am outside of what I created. God, the, the scriptures are clear. God created time. So if God created time, time is the creation. Like in this example, Noah's not stuck inside of the creation, he created the creation. So if God created time, he must exist outside of time. He must be bigger than what he created, time. This is important for two quick things. This is important to, because of the, the <laughs> this is important. <laughs> this is important because of the points we've already been talking about. Past, present, future, this helps explain why God sees everything happen without actually making it happen. Because he's outside of time. He's bigger than time. This is why the scriptures, or this helps explain why the scriptures teach that, um, that when oh, Paul writes and he says that, that God says, since before time began, I chose you. How's that possible that God chooses you since before he said, let there be light? But maybe it's because he just sees it. He is the I am. It's all present for him. The creator being outside of their creation, the artist being outside of their art, helps explain this. But it also means something else in kind of the opposite direction. When you think about prayers that people have answered, if I'm praying and you're praying and everyone within a five mile radius, maybe there's a couple hundred people that are praying, how does God hear all of those prayers? If God exists, if God lives, in a linear time, I don't think God could answer all those prayers if that was the case. But since God exists outside of his creation, since he exists outside of his time, he can pause time, he can see anywhere within history, within future. He can see all of it and come aid us, come answer us, and come be with us wherever we are in life. God, the creator of the universe, can put the universe the creation on pause and focus and listen only on you. I think th this is just really amazing to think about in our own lives and how God at any point in time can come and really focus, really take time to get to know you, to be a part of your life. This is genius and powerful because what this can also mean is whenever you say, you know, God, I screwed up, I, I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Sure, he sees it, but he's already forgiving you. He's already forgiven you before it even happened because he can put it on pause and just focus on that. At the end of the day, we really have to take the time to consider what the scriptures teach and actual philosophical logic. Logic. And it's, it's basically this. We can explain these things to a certain level. God is outside of time because he made it. Noah is outside of this piece of art because Noah made it.